everybody it's Doreen and as the title of the video says this is going to be a birthday card but this is going to be a special birthday card because this is a card for my mother who will be turning 75 this year I am so fortunate to have my mother she is very special to me and we're kind of like a mother daughter as well as best friends and she is the one that got me into sewing and I took it further and got into card making and jewelry making and so forth but she loves everything that I do and that I send her so I wanted to do something special for her this year because it's her number 75 so I actually played a little trick on her and I'll talk about that at the end of the video when I show you the gift that I made. So, as far as her card, we're not using the silhouette today. Well, I did use a silhouette, of course, to do my inside sentiment. But the other thing that I've used is my paper trimmer and I've used some dies. So, what does our card look like for today? This is the card that we will be making if you want to join me so come on and join me and I'm gonna show you how I made this card okay everybody so I'm gonna bring up the supplies and we're gonna get started with the card so with this card I am not using my silhouette except to do my inside sentiment and I'm using the print and cut but everything else is basically using my paper trimmer and this new die that I have so let's get started here and we're gonna go ahead and put our top layer on so now my top layer measures four inches by five and a quarter inches yep and this paper is from okay sorry about that everybody I needed to readjust um, the camera so this paper is from this paper pack it's a DCWV and it's all about girl stack and I've had this one a while so I don't even know if it's available anymore but we're gonna use that and we're gonna get that on the front of the cart and I've already put my label back there on the back so let's line this up here and we're gonna get some tape on here and I I apologize everyone I'm gonna have to adjust the camera again okay I think I'm ready now so let's get some tape on the back of here I was trying to organize my room a little bit oh that's not good good thing that's on the other side I don't know what that was it's like gobs of tape that were balled up on my tape gun so Let's get everything. Got this on here. I'm gonna move this for just a second. And then I'm gonna line this up and put this on the top of here. Like so. And it does have a little glitter in the paper. So I like that too. So now the next piece I'm gonna add is I decided I wanted to try something different. I want to start using some of the, the things that I've bought and haven't used and this past weekend I had a big uh, well it wasn't a big rummage sale but my neighborhood had a rummage neighborhood community had a rummage sale and I got rid of quite a few things and one of the things that I got rid of was my Cricut expression I did go ahead and sell it and I'm also selling the cartridges along with it well I didn't sell all of the cartridges but I am selling the cartridges as well because I am sorry to say that I am just not happy with the Cricut company after purchasing all the things that I purchased and the gypsy and now the gypsy is no good and I can't do any updating with the gypsy I just decided to move on those of you who have a Cricut and you love your Cricut I'm not knocking you for it if you love it that's fine but I've decided I don't want anything to do with Cricut products so sorry about that little rant there but let me go ahead and show you what I've done so I've taken this burlap that I bought at 
a scrapbooking um, show. The, um, I think it was just the most recent one that I went to here in my city. And it comes in a paper stack like this, and it's by DCWV. And actually, I take that back. I think I got this at Tuesday morning. Now that I think about it, I did. I didn't get this at the rubber stamp scrapbooking show. I got this at Tuesday morning because I also went ahead and bought Skyler one. And when I sent it to her, she did ask me, well, what can you do with it? So, Skyler, this is what I've done with mine. I just took it and cut it up. I didn't measure anything because you won't be able to cut this with your paper trimmer. And then I took these new embossing stencils or stencils. Actually, they're not embossing stencils, they're stencils that I got on HSN. The one I used was this one. And then I took my Bic Market pens and the stencil and my airbrush system or compressor. And I just went ahead and stenciled the leaves with my Bic Market pens. So that's what I did with mine. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to add this piece right here. Now the trick is, will this work with tape? So we're going to see if I can put this on here with some tape. And it doesn't look like the tape is showing on the other side, so that's a good thing. So I'm just trying to get as much as I can on here. And then we're going to see if we can stick this down with the tape. So I'm going to try to get as much as I can on my edges here. Because I want this to lay flat and stick down. So now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to open up my card once again. And then I'm going to lay this uh, probably about right there. No specific order in which I want to lay it and it looks like it's staying down so that is it so Skylar that's what I did with my burlap mat so now I want to see what you're going to do with yours so next thing I'm going to add is my little lady that I also picked up from HSN um, it's by Crafters Companion and it's a stencil or a die cut, I'm sorry, that looks like this. So what I did with mine is I went ahead and made this. So now, in order to do this, I ran mine through my new toy that I have that I've shown before, my Gemini. I ran it through with the yellow cardstock. And then, because I didn't want it, because the Gemini really does die cut very well, and it does very, very well with intricate dies. And by the way, thank you, Audrey, for telling me about the Gemini. So, to get the background piece so that when I ran it through the Gemini, it didn't cut all the way through, the lady on... HSN, I can't think of her name right now offhand. She said what she did so that because the Gemini is so powerful and will cut very, very intricate, is she took and put on her cardstock some duct tape. So that's what I did. I ran it through the first time to get my yellow cardstock, and then I took a piece of pink cardstock that I definitely have abundance of that pink cardstock and I just put some duct tape on the back of the cardstock and then I ran it through the Gemini and then that way I was able to get it so that it would not cut all the way through now if you have a Cricut I'm sorry if you have a color bug or a Gemini excuse me if you have a Cricut or a Big Shot you can do this technique because with the Cricut, I don't know why I keep saying Cricut. I guess it's because I was talking about the Cricut earlier. With the Cuddlebug and the Big Shot, you probably may need to run the die through more than one time to get it to cut the intricate pieces anyway. So if you only run it through once, 
what she was saying on HSN is that it probably would do your background piece without cutting out each one of the little spaces that are on here. So that's what I did. And then I've gone ahead and put some foam tape on the back. So I'm going to go ahead and take the foam, the paper off the foam tape. And then I'm going to go ahead and add her. And then, of course, you know I want to bling her up some more. When I saw this die, I just fell in love with it. And there are other dies that came with this as a set. And it actually sold out right away as soon as it they were um, showing it. Um, I will be doing things with that in the future. One of them is a purse and one of them is a shoe. So I'm going to just lay her about right there and have her sit right there on the card. And then the last thing I'm going to add is I've gone ahead and stamped out Happy Birthday. And then I die cut it using my Gemini. And I'm also going to pop this up with some foam tape as well. So let me get a couple pieces. I mean, I think I will. Well, let me need one. And then I'm going to add that. And I think I'm going to put that right down here. Or maybe. I don't want to take away from this. So. think I'm going to add it right there or maybe there okay I'm going to think about where I want to put my happy birthday go ahead and add a little bit of some bling on here and I'll come back with the finished card and then I'm going to talk about some of the gifts that I made for my mother for her birthday okay everybody so I am back with the finished card so this is what I've done um, I don't think I mentioned earlier that I also, on the pink cardstock, just went and put just a little bit of, actually, tape. And I used the tape gun, and then I just sprinkled some glitter on top. And I think I used the Diamond Dust Glitter by um, Stampin' Up. So that's what the glitter is. It isn't actually glitter paper. I just put some glitter on there. So, the other thing I've gone ahead and done is I've used my bow at all, and I've added a bow here on the back of the dress. And then I just took some bling and ran it down the back portion of the dress. And then I put a little bling to look like an earring in her um, ear up at the top here. So now, the other thing that I went ahead and did was, I'm really loving these Wink Estella pins. As I said before in a previous video, I don't know how I missed out on these, but I am enjoying using them. I don't have to take my watercolor paints and then put some of the iridescent medium in there to get the glitter effect that I want. Now, I do still use it and do it that way when I don't have the color that I'm looking for with the Wink Stella uh, pens. And Skylar was kind enough to send me the ones that she had because she never used them. Now that she's seeing what I'm doing with them, she might want me to send them back to her. <laughs> anyway, um, the other thing that I found is when I purchased some of the Wink Stella pens, I thought that I had gotten pens that did not work or brushes that did not work because I kept squeezing and nothing was happening. So I went on YouTube and sorry I shook the camera there and was able to find a, vi a video to tell me how to use these pens. So basically, or these brushes, I keep calling them pens. If you don't know how to use it, what you have to do is, first of all, you need to unscrew this and remove this black cap. You don't need this so you can get rid of it. And then you're going to, uh, before you even take that off, or you can take that off and then um, go ahead and screw it back on. You need to shake them up just a little bit. You don't have to shake them up a lot. And then what you'll do is you're going to take and pull it off. And then on here, I don't know if the camera will pick that up, but there's the word push right there. You're just going to squeeze that where it says push 
a couple of times because you want to get the flow of the ink that's in here or the glitter to come down into this well right here and you only have to squeeze it maybe once that's all I had to do now I'm not gonna do this one because I'm not ready to use this pen yet but once you squeeze it you'll put the cap back on then you'll take it turn it upside down shake it a little bit and it'll start flowing out now I found that out um, the hard way because I kept squeezing squeezing and I thought that I had gotten a bad uh, brush until I was um, on YouTube and I decided to type in how to use the Wink Stella pens and I found a video telling me what I needed to do so that's the beauty of YouTube there are so many things that you can learn out on YouTube so now my envelope I did go ahead and use my we are memory keepers one two three punch board and make my envelope and I did a box envelope because my card is sort of three-dimensional and I went ahead and stamped out um, just best wishes or birthday wishes and with love on your birthday and so that is my card and my envelope now I do have some gifts that I did make for my mother and I'm just gonna show you um, some pictures of those because I've already packed up the box and wrapped up everything and I just basically now just need to get this card in there and I'm so proud of myself I actually got her gift done a week before her birthday actually I got it done two weeks before her birthday and I'm going to send it to her a week before her birthday she's going to be shocked because I'm always late she usually gets it a couple of days after her birthday but as she always tells me it's the thought that counts and stay tuned and you'll see the gifts that I've made okay everybody so before I show you the first gift that I made for my mother I wanted to give you a little backstory on this particular gift I went to visit my mother last year um, during my husband and my anniversary in October in where she lives which is Florida and while I was there, she had me doing a bunch of little crafty things that she wanted done. She wanted a wreath made for her front and back door and a whole bunch of other stuff. So on the last night that I was there, she bought a dress into me and she said, do you think you can do something with this? Do you think you could fix it? So when I took a look at it, I'm like, what did you spill on here? And she accidentally spilled bleach. She was doing her laundry and the bleach tipped over and it got all over this jean dress that she had. And it happens to be one of her favorite dresses that she wears when she goes to run her errands to the store and around the house and so forth. And she was just saying how she really loved this dress and she's had it for years and she doesn't know if she'd ever be able to find another one like it. And she really hoped that I could do something with it to cover up the bleach stains so I took a look at it and I'm like well I don't know mom this is bleach is splattered all over the place on this dress I don't know if I can fix it but I'll try so I brought the dress back with me and every month or so since October she'll ask me have I done anything with her dress because she really 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 liked this dress and she really wanted me to see what I could do to fix it well I decided to do something to the dress for her birthday but I also decided to play a little trick on her because I just wanted to see her reaction when she opens up the box and sees the dress so what I told her was the other day when I talked to her I said um, I know you're wondering what happened with your dress that you gave me back in October and she said yeah I know I've been asking you about it and I don't want to keep asking you because I know you're working on a whole lot of stuff and you've been having problems with your shoulder and hand so you haven't been doing a lot of crafting and she was just going on and on and on and she said it's okay if you can't fix it so what I said to her was you know I'm really 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 sorry mama but I did try to fix your dress and I accidentally in the process of trying to fix it I tried to do a technique that I've done on the shadow box that I made and here's a picture of the shadow box 
and it's a splattering of paint technique and I tried to do that on your dress so that I could cover up the places where you spilt the bleach and the bleach splattered but in the process of doing that I accidentally tipped over the paint that I was using and it ran all across the dress and when I tried to wipe it up it just made it come out in big blotches and then all of a sudden holes started developing in the dress I don't know if it was the mixture of the paint and the bleach but your dress now has several holes in it so I told her I was really really sorry and that I wish I could get her another dress and um, I don't know what else to say so she said she was okay with it and she said you know she spilled the bleach to begin with and she just thought maybe I could fix it so she said don't worry about it and I just went on saying I really feel so bad that I messed your dress up and she just told me to forget about it little does she know I did do something with her dress I didn't spill any paint on it I just wanted her to think that because I wanted her to be surprised when she received her gift so this is what I ended up doing to her dress so this is the front of the dress and everywhere that you see the flowers and the leaves is where she actually spilled the bleach or the bleach spattered so I went ahead and took a stencil and some fabric paint and covered up all of the stains. So after I did the front of the dress, on the back of the dress she just had just a few little spots but they were in key areas of the dress so I decided to add some more flowers and leaves and then I kinda got over excited about it and just kept adding them so after I got the dress all done I said okay now she needs some jewelry to go with the dress so I went ahead and used my embroidery machine and still sticking to the flower theme I added or I made daisy earrings and a daisy necklace as I mentioned my mother lives in Florida and I found these flip-flops and the hats at the Dollar Tree and what I did was I went ahead and embroidered some lace flowers and glued those onto the flip-flops and then the last thing I did was I used my embroidery machine to make these lace earrings so that's it everybody that's everything that I've done for my mother for her 75th birthday and this video was a long one but I really felt it was something that I wanted to do because I wanted to show my appreciation for my mother. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye and happy 75th birthday mama.